Happy Halloween, everybody. It's that time of the year already, and I thought I'd come, you know, with a different vlog this time. I'm gonna take you, we have to go all the way to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, and I'm gonna tell you about what's probably the scariest bar in the whole planet. Oh my god. What? Don't go, don't. So, our story starts in Central Market in Chinatown. So this behind me is Central Market. You basically can have anything you want here from, you know, the most obvious rip-offs to basically any gadget that you can imagine. I was actually there with two friends that I just met in the hostel. They were called uh, Gerardo and Becky. So we are here in uh, Chinatown. Uh, they both live, live, well, where do you live exactly? I live in Shanghai, in China now. Okay, okay. <laughs> And she and uh, he lives in, in uh, Hong Kong. So the fact that they lived in China was actually very helpful. They ordered in Chinese, which was pretty cool. Uh, fried wonton noodles. Okay. Yeah, with pork. After dinner, Gerardo suggested that we should do something that a Chinese friend of his told him. So yeah, we're going to uh, we're trying to find a bar that is kind of like hidden we somewhere. Speakeasy. It's supposed to be. Uh, what what do we have to find? We have to find a red door, okay. a hidden red door, unmarked. The old school shops of Chinatown. Should it be like in the back? I think. Ooh, uh, we need in the back. Like I think we thought about this already, right? But it's blue. Is it open? No. Did it? Open the door and you'll see. Here we go. Oh no way! Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> this is quite creepy actually. <laughs> okay. Yep. Don't close the <laughs> Don't close the door. What? Look at this though. Are those like deaths? Kuala Lumpur is a very diverse city. So with so many religions, cultures and references, Stepping into this place felt like going into the nightmares and seeing the demons and the monsters of people from faraway lands. Oh my god! What? So the menu here has these crazy options. That's that's beer, okay? Uh, Ooh, monkey brain. Bacardi monkey brain. Rum, that's like dry gin, vodka. Eighty percent beating. Well, those are like more of a more yeah, of cocktails. Are, yeah, these are more like local. Like it's got the what did they say? The Malaysian, Malaysian rice wine. Rice yeah, rice. this is apparently like. This is a whole ritual right here. How do yep. you do it? And it's all in Cantonese. You're gonna have to say it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know Cantonese. I only know Mandarin. Dani, Yi Shaolin. So they were all cocktails. You know, they were served in this kind of like 
teacup. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. So imagine we were drinking a kind of a gin tonic with um, some herbs on it, and it was served in a teacup. And, you know, it was perfect. Everything was themed to perfection. They had these voodoo dolls that came with the drinks. Oh. All right, this Ooh. is a voodoo doll. Thank you. Okay, this is someone that you, uh, you imagine it as someone that you don't like. Someone, maybe someone that you want to have revenge on, right? Okay, so <laughs> just imagine that person. So what you see in TV, usually they use needle and poker, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this one, instead of using uh, needles, you use the shoe to whack them. Oh, okay. like a chancla. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so first you light the incense. Then, if you want to hit a specific person, a villain or enemy, write the name down, the date of birth, and attach a photo of the specific person on the scarecrow uh. provided. It was like the weirdest thing ever, but it was such a great experience. And it was a great way to end the night in the city of Kuala Lumpur. So I hope you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe, give a like. And yeah, I do this type of travel vlogs, you know. I'm gonna definitely do one about Kuala Lumpur soon. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, see you in the next adventure. Cheers. Yeah, of course.